You used to be a bad nigga in school, bro. No, I haven't. You used to be a top dog. Gene, didn't you tell me in, in elementary school, him and Debo was the, the, the two scariest niggas? But that was probably the baddest <laughs> I've ever been in school. <laughs> Punching niggas. You were knocking niggas out, right? No. You yeah, okay. Hey everyone, this is Shrink Rafe here, and today's video, we'll be going Who to the top 10 students versus Shrink teachers. Shrink Rafe here. their feet out from underneath them, forcing the child to fall. But for two hours, this child suffered. In number 10 spot, this one's super messed up. We've got a bunch of students who got mad at the teachers, and they destroyed the school so much so that the janitors went on strike. <laughs> I know they got hey, sued. Hey, hey, I'll be eating my bag of chip. <laughs> Not giving one fuck. This well, ain't my this house. This is as wild <laughs> as it gets. This teacher, he's in charge of a bunch of special ed students. And I guess for some reason it went through his mind one day that it would be fun to set up a fight club. So that's exactly what he did. He set up his very own classroom fight club where he would arrange and then referee student fights. At least 10 students were involved, and when this was figured out, this dude got into so much trouble. I spoke to the superintendent here. Let's be honest, Naheem. This said when this was found. If I was in that out. high school, and that teacher would say, Hey, boo, I'm about to get, a, get these, you know, kids to fight. That's all I do. Mm, bro. <laughs> I said, God, I'm in that bitch. Get me all to the. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I said, God, I'm in that bitch. God. You gotta be honest, bro. We in high school, bro. Anybody would be in that bitch if they knew. Fights allegedly happened on Monday and Tuesday of last week in Federico Vargas' special education classroom. So far, the district says at least 10 students, some of them special ed students, either witnessed or participated in fights. At least one of the fights was recorded on a student's cell phone. Superintendent yeah, I knew they, they were bumping. seen that video. Edinburgh, I think it's safe to say that a lot of students are better than their teachers when it comes to technology. So Zoom has presented some serious problems. Teachers don't know how to do certain things, and that's what happened here. This student acted like he wanted to share his homework on the screen. The teacher couldn't figure out how to set it up, and basically just gave him host privileges so that he could do things that he normally wouldn't be able to. And let's just say that was a bad idea, because this happened. Guys, you guys you off me now, look. I'm, I'm the host, no class. Okay. Teacher ass. Hey, 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 bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. I'm back now. I can't be here. Your neck is going out. <laughs> hey, you tapping, bro. You tapping, bro. You tapping. Like this isn't the body slam one, but this teacher. She went up to this eight-year-old at the elementary school that she teached at, and she's 58 years old. Keep that in mind. She's close to retirement. I don't know why she would do this, but she really had some beef with this eight-year-old because things got hot and spicy, and she grabbed this kid's ankles and pulled their feet out under from them so that they fell backwards onto their back and head. 58-year-old Deborah Wiley is now facing a battery charge. Court documents say there's an eight-minute video where a student is seen standing up against a wall when Wiley repeatedly grabbed the student's ankles and pulled their feet out from underneath them, forcing the child to fall. Court records say Wiley admitted to the incident. She's been fired from the school and she could face six months to two and a half years in prison, plus up to $10,000 in fines. Real quick, before you the next one, make sure you like on this video and also subscribe oh, to my that's channel. That's uh, 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 to uh, I was <laughs> like the fuck out of this old lady. substitute teacher. Now, I, I'm not She's exactly sure myself, little. but I'd assume that substitute teachers don't make an insane absurd amount of money. And this woman, she wanted to make some extra cash, so she <laughs> thought that the best way to do that 
will be to start selling can't the devil's lettuce to some of her students that she substituted be. for at this middle it school. Be. I Turns out can't two of the here, students, after buying some, it's got it's sick and ended up like, snitching on it. On Friday, Henry yeah. County deputies arrested 35-year-old Maria Bill Rivera was selling Magana, dope in a substitute school. teacher, after students said she sold them marijuana. It's very concerning. Man, why ask for it and get that sold this and shit and then snitch? You are still stupid, bro. This even happened in if the first that, place. I'll understand if that bitch was both. I'd be like, yeah, she sold me some booze. Really but if that bitch some cash, you know what I'm saying? She's saying niggas the exotic. I'm talking about no. I'm talking about Obama runs for the 35 to 8. Okay, man, I'm smoking good. I ain't saying nothing. take people's lives. In what way? I'm not really sure. The news and investigators never really specified. However, these students, their plan was figured out or caught on a Saturday. What makes that really scary is from what I understand, they'd actually planned to do it on the Friday previous before that Saturday. However, they got a snow day that day, so they couldn't do it and plan to do things that next following week. So to some extent, those people at that school got extremely lucky, but it's still really just terrifying to think that something could have happened. Both are juveniles, 16 years of age, so they're not releasing their names. Both, again, attending school here at Mountain Vista High School. The school district sent this note home to parents saying the students planned to cause harm to staff and students at Mountain Vista this week. Students I talked with say they're glad the threat was discovered. I think it's pretty crazy, like, just kind of scary because you don't know what could happen. And it's like school, and you're supposed to be a safe place Can't there. I think we got lucky, especially with the snow day, because a lot of people thought that it was going to happen today. So I guess we got really lucky that we have, like, the security that we have to protect us. And then before this one, this one is just downright disgusting. I'm about to say, what the fuck is students especially when they're at like a <laughs> middle school or something like that which is this kind of situation this dude he's been at this school for five years he's like in his late 20s from what i understand or something like that or early 30s and he went and started sending some messages that he definitely should not have been sending to any students uh, whatsoever nonetheless a 13 year Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. Now, bundle this together. Guy can, I, 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 no, no. You know what I'm saying? I was about to say this guy can well, catch anybody he wants. But, phone, look at him. Media messages, that kind of stuff. Uh, it turns out that there may be more students that he was doing this to. After nearly five years as the avid teacher at Greco Middle School, 28-year-old James Bashaw is jobless and facing three felony charges. We are definitely shocked and, and saddened by this. Mashad is accused of sending explicit messages to one of his students, just 13 years old. A student who is very courageous came forward with this inappropriate interaction and they were able to then take it to the authorities. And without that, we may not have known about these allegations. Four to three, I think it's safe to say for anybody that's well, gone She must have, hey, hey, she must have just didn't like it. Island Coast. Island Coast. No, I don't want Yeah, no, <laughs> No, I, I used to go to Island Coast. I ain't gonna cut to you. But do you hear? I seen that tree and I was like, whoa. Beef with or didn't like. They didn't like you. There was some some stuff going on. I don't know that between, nigga. You know, it's just natural to find somebody that you don't like occasionally. I mean, people hate people all the time. But sometimes things can go too far. Just like in this situation, this student, he got arrested because he was sending some text messages to his friends, uh, threatening to basically hurt this teacher or saying that he was planning on doing it. Yeah, they weren't super specific, but his friend ended up turning them in, and he ended up getting arrested for it, like I said. Police arrested 18-year-old Joshua Zelaya Sandoval Thursday. He's accused of sending a text threatening to hurt an Island Coast High School teacher. We don't want it to progress to actual violence. Landing this Island Coast High School student in jail. I wanted to see what Zelaya Sandoval had to say about these allegations. When I went to his house today, I was told he wasn't home. When I asked for a comment, I was told no one spoke English. I didn't know number two. This one gets a little mm -hmm. bit political. I'm going to try to stay as much out of the political aspect of it as possible. But these two, I guess, people, this student and a teacher, got into some heavy arguments on a Zoom call during their virtual class because one of the students basically had a Trump flag in his background, and the teacher told him to take it down. She threatened to kick him out of the class, and next thing you know, it was a big political thing on a bunch of news channels. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section. You can sit up, remove the flag, or reposition your camera within the next 15 seconds, or I'm kicking you out of class. The teacher began to count. Two, three, four, I will be kicking you out of class. 
She didn't make it to 10 before Tiffany's son waved goodbye and mm -hmm. exited the so virtual OG. classroom. She doesn't blame the teacher for the uncomfortable moment that's made its way to social media. She is a new teacher, and it's a mistake that there hasn't really been any guidance given to her as a teacher from the school. Tiffany and her son blame the school board. And finally, the boys part is for you. I mean, at the same time, time. Hold on. I mean, at the same time, it's like, it's like, you, I understand the teacher. I mean, it's like, I guess you don't want to bring politics, like, P politics into school but isn't that that's a part of school right you know what I'm saying so like she she is in the wrong dog you know what I'm saying but I, I was about to say like she's in the right because it's like you're not supposed to bring uh, politics into school but you that's a part you know they got economics that's what I'm saying shit. bro it's like saying I voted for fucking yeah they they, they register you to vote in school you know what I'm saying so like yeah. why can't he like he want a, he want to vote for Trump that's him that's his opinion he like Trump you know what I'm saying flagging I done got hot too. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she got a Obama poster or something posted. You know what I'm saying? And niggas ain't like that. And she ain't get no type of him. penalty. And out the supervisor who saw this happen didn't get this kid any medical attention whatsoever. He just put him on a school bus home. Like two hours later, got arrested also because this boy ended up having a fractured skull. What kind of damage occurred to that child? I don't know. I'm not a medical professional. But for two hours, this child suffered. And Mr. West did nothing to provide him with medical aid. Nothing. Instead, police say West got on the bus and rode home with the child, watching him from across the street as he went inside. Normally, the staff does not ride home with the children. Police say they are still looking for the staff member that abused the child. West was booked into the Pinellas County Jail and has already bonded out. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. That boy bought a me. <laughs> That's tough as fuck. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, make sure you like, comment if you're new to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the bell to be notified whenever we do post. We do post your right next single day. Uh, you can follow me. He's supposed to stay down that link in the description. And we do got some more content coming out, so be on the lookout for that. So smash the like button and the subscribe button. Let's get it. Let's get it.